This segment is brought to you by Debt Aid Consulting. Itama po natin. Kuya Ben, I'm only on a work permit here in Canada. Do I really have to pay Canadian income taxes? From the early times of government, taxes have already existed. Even during the time of Jesus, the Romans collected taxes for Caesar. A government develops infrastructures for the citizens of its country to have benefits and services that help the needy in hard times. The government cannot function without funds, and this is where your taxes come in. The money is used for roads, healthcare programs, food banks, emergency services, crime prevention, and many more. Every year, a deadline is set so that citizens may file their taxes accordingly for the prior year. This becomes the time for temptation of not being truthful in their filings. If caught, they risk penalties, interest, and even jail time. I get calls from clients who were audited and got caught for stretching the truth a little, and some too much. Sometimes the tax preparers are the ones who instigate it. Since you, the taxpayer, signed the tax return, you are liable. For you, the person holding the work permit, you are included as one of the citizens of this nation. This is where you make a living, kaya you have to pay taxes in Canada. Also, clients call me complaining about LLC or limited liability corporations using call centers in Manila. The company did not disclose that. Nasa call center sila sa Manila. They have to let you opt out if you do not want to talk to them. Ingatan po ang ating information lagi. If you have been a victim, report this to the Financial Consumer Agency of Canada and in the U.S. Federal Trade Commission takes care of consumer complaints. Ben Lu at your service. I have 30 years of real financial experience. If you would like sound financial advice, call me at Debt Aid Consulting. Tawag na po, 1-888-341-5234 at tutulungan po namin kayo. Itama po natin ang mali. This segment was brought to you by Debt Aid Consulting. Itama po natin.